We do not expect harmful levels of radiation to reach the West Coast, Hawaii, Alaska, or U.S. territories in the Pacific. Government data shows that the United States is being bombarded with Fukushima radiation 1,000 times higher than normal. In the months following the 2011 meltdowns at Japan's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, residents of Los Angeles were being exposed to levels of dangerous alpha radiation nearly 1,000 times above normal levels. A study found. That is the judgment of our Nuclear Regulatory Commission and many other experts. Furthermore, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and public health experts do not recommend that people in the United States take precautionary measures beyond staying informed. The data came from a July 2012 presentation at the National Conference on Radiation Control. The presentation was given by Joe G. Ortego, Principal Radiation Protection Specialist for Los Angeles County Radiation Management. And going forward, we will continue to keep the American people fully updated because I believe that you must know what I know as president. Los Angeles County heard many concerns from residents about the potential health impacts of radiation crossing the Pacific Ocean from the disaster. So they commissioned the study. We do not expect harmful levels of radiation to reach the West Coast, Hawaii, Alaska, or U.S. territories in the Pacific. Radiation levels in the area. The report notes that federal agencies delayed in providing information to the county, and that the state radiologic health branch was unable to provide inspectors due to budget constraints. The state lab was unable to provide a reasonable turnaround time for sample analysis, so the county instead hired a local radiation monitor manufacturer for the analysis. Sample That is the judgment of our Nuclear Regulatory Commission and many other experts. Furthermore, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and public health experts do not recommend that people in the United States take precautionary measures beyond staying informed. And going forward, we will continue to keep the American people fully updated, because I believe that you must know what I know as president. This were taken between April 29th and May 2nd, 2011, approximately seven weeks after the radioactive releases from Fukushima. The county found that gross alpha radiation levels at a location in Los Angeles were 300 famocuris per cubic meter, and levels at a Hacienda Heights location were 200 famocuris per cubic meter. For context, the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory reports the average annual median level of gross alpha activity for the state of California as just 0.38 famocuris per cubic meter, that is, 790 times lower. We do not expect harmful levels of radiation to reach the West Coast, Hawaii, Alaska, or U.S. territories in the Pacific. That is the judgment of our County Nuclear Regulatory Commission times and many than other experts. That requires an investigation Furthermore, at the, United States the Centers for Nuclear Disease Control and Prevention to the and Public Health Experts at do not National recommend that people Finally, in the United States the Los Angeles take precautionary measures beyond staying in and going Federal forward, regulatory we will continue to keep the, the American people which is fully updated, per because I believe meters, that you must know what I know from Idaho as president. National Laboratory. What do all these numbers mean for human and environmental health? Alpha radiation is one of the major types of radiation emitted by radioactive atoms. It is also referred to as alpha particles, or a helium nucleus. Other types of radiation are beta radiation, gamma radiation, and neutrons. Of alpha Beta and gamma we do not radiation, expect harmful alpha levels radiation of radiation is by far the most dangerous the West found Coast. inside the human body. That's because unlike beta or gamma radiation, alpha radiation we do not is easily absorbed by cells, of radiation where it to can reach cause serious the West damage, Coast. including to DNA. Alpha we particles do not can enter the body if they contaminate food or water, or if they are breathed in. Hence the concern among both we nuclear laboratories and Los Angeles County about airborne levels of alpha radiation. The alpha radiation detected from the Fukushima we do not disaster expect most likely levels comes of radiation from plutonium-239, which is produced as a byproduct in many nuclear reactors. No alpha radiation, however, is emitted by cesium-137, which is probably the most prolific isotope emitted by Fukushima that is still circulating in the environment iodine-131. Also we do not expect in large harmful quantities, levels of radiation has a very short to reach the West and Coast. has probably mostly vanished from the environment by now. But whereas the beta and gamma radiation emitted by radioactive cesium may not be as dangerous from within the body, 
It is actually far more dangerous if found outside the body, for example, in the contaminated water and soil around the Fukushima plant, or the contaminated water being dumped into the Pacific Ocean. That's because beta and Pacific. gamma radiation is that far is more able to penetrate the body's external defenses and, many and other tear experts. apart cells and DNA Furthermore, as it passes through. the Centers through. for Disease Control and Prevention and public health experts do not recommend that people in the United States take precautionary measures beyond staying informed. And going forward, we will continue to keep the American people fully updated because I believe that you must know what I know as president. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forget lies and we will not forgive your global genocide. Expect us.